Ha ha! Da 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 ha ha! Hi, I'm George Balanchine. Um, I'm a Russian ballet dancer with extensive training from the Imperial Ballet School um, in Russia. Um, a lot of a lot of people call me the founder of American ballet. Um, they say that I'm the one that kind of jump-started it here in America. Um, I'm also the co-founder of the New York City Ballet, and I am also the artistic director. It was until my death. Um, a lot of people like to mention that I am a very musical uh, choreographer. I like to use the music a lot and, you, and let the dance express the music and let the dance correlate with the music. I I was known a lot to work with several different composers. Um, people also say that I'm uh, one of the greatest uh, choreographers of the 20th century. Um, people say I created a style and a sort of flair that just really extensively created a great ballet culture here in America. Um, but yes, and I also was known to mentor several different choreographers and dancers during my time. One being Jerome Robbins, which I believe also spoke here today. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, I'm George Balanchine, and I approve this message. Da, 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 da. Alexandra Donilova was a Russian-trained prima ballerina who became an American citizen. She was recognized for lifetime achievements as a Kennedy Center honoree. She was trained at the Russian Imperial Ballet School, and she was one of the few Russian-trained ballerinas who toured outside of Russia. Along with many other famous 20th century dancers, such as George Balanchine and Michael Fokine, Donilova danced with the American ballet company, the Ballet Russes, and then moved on to the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. I am Anton Dollins, and I joined the Ballet Theater when it was born in the 1940s. It remained a dancer there and choreographer until 1946. I was considered one of the finest partner, partners of my time, and I most of the time was partnered with Alicia Markovic. I also was a director and principal male dancer of the Markova and Dollins companies. In 1949, myself and Alicia founded another company that in 1950 became London's Festival Ballet. Hey pals, it's Bryn and I'm here to teach you about some 20th century dancers. Um, first on the list we have Ruth Page, who is an American dancer. She was born March 22nd, um, 1899. Her kind of claim to ballet fame, I guess, is that she really saw the world around her and she took movements from sports and movements from popular dance and just everyday gestures and collaborated them with ballet and integrated them into ba classical ballet. So um, that's really neat. Her resume, some like interesting things that pop up on there is she uh, was in Anna Pavlova's dance company. Um, she was also a Broadway dancer and she was also a film dancer, which is really neat. Um, Ruth died April 7th, 1991. Fast fact about Maria Talti. She was the first Native American to burst into ballet. She actually grew up on a Indian reservation. She danced with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. Uh, she went on to be the first prima ballerina of New York City Ballet and the first American to dance with the Paris Opera Ballet. She was a guest performer with ABT and she was a wife and muse under George Balanchine, but she unfortunately retired from dance in 1965. But after retirement, she served as artistic director for the Lyric Opera Ballet. She went on to be one of five arti artists for artistic contributions at the Kennedy Center Honors. She was part of the National Women's Hall of Fame. And in 1995, she was awarded the National Medal of Arts. She unfortunately died on April 11th, 2013 in Chicago, leaving one daughter, Elise Paschin, behind. <clears throat> uh, yes, what am I supposed to do again? Uh, uh. Well, hi, I'm Margaret Fontaine. Um, I'm a 
Hey, Miss Ballerina. Uh, I actually <laughs> just so happen to be the best of all time, so people say. <laughs> I spent my entire career at the Royal Ballet. I have done several ballets, from Cinderella to the Firebird to Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, and oh, the Nutcracker. Um, how can I forget the Nutcracker? I um, I was actually promoted to the premier ballerina on Sunita by Queen Elizabeth II. Now, how many dancers can say they were um, promoted by the queen? <laughs> I don't think that many. <laughs> I am one of the greatest ballerinas of the 20th century. I, um, I The way I moved was so elegant. I, all my lines were always clear. It was so beautiful. I've left such a mark on the ballet world. Um, and I'm so happy to have done that. Yes. Uh, is there anything else I'm supposed to say? Oh. <laughs> well, I think I'm done for today. Bye. <laughs> uh, somebody get me something to drink. I have a ballet in 10 minutes. Anthony Tudor was an English ballet choreographer, teacher, and dancer. He discovered dance accidentally and started dancing professionally with Marie Rambert in 1928. Along with other Rambert members, Tudor founded the London Ballet. But with the onset of World War II, they were invited to come to New York City. Upon their arrival to America, Tudor and other members joined Richard Pleasance and Lucia Chase's reorganized ballet theater. Chase's company was later to be renamed the American Ballet Theater. I am Andre Elinsky, and I dance in many companies, such as the American Ballet. Before joining the New York City Ballet in 1951 and through 1958, where I created leading roles in several of George Balanchine's ballets. I was a U.S. citizen from 1937, and I established a school and a small performing group in New York, which grew into the Ellenstein Ballet Company. Next on the list is Alyssa Markova, who was born December 1910. She is an English ballerina, choreographer, director, and teacher. She is the first British dancer to become a principal dancer, which is kind of awesome, and her and um, Margaret Fontaine are Margot Fontaine. Oh my goodness, are the only two English dancers to be recognized as primas. Um, Alyssa's list of things is very long. She created basically any, almost all of the major ballet companies in the world right now, such as the Rampart Dance Company, the Royal Ballet, um, the ABT English National Ballet. Um, but before she did that, she danced in many a dance company, um, including working for people like George Balanchine and stuff like that. Um, and Markova died December 2nd, 2004. Fast facts about Rudolf Nureyev. He was so great, he was compared to a god. His legacy was bringing dance to the Soviet people. He studied at the Leningrad Ballet School, and he started studying ballet at age 11 and started dancing professionally at age 15. Margot Fontaine, another influential 20th century historian, uh, was his main partner. He was a soloist with the Kirov Ballet in his lifetime. He recorded out four ballets, including Swan Lake. He, star he started as a ballet director at the Paris Opera in 1983, and he unfortunately died of AIDS on January 6, 1993, in Paris. Fast facts. Hi! <laughs> I'm Jerome Robbins, um, famous ballet choreographer. Uh, I had an extensive ballet career, but it didn't occur until later in my life. I first started um, ballet choreography with the New York City Ballet. My first ballet was Fancy Free, um, very famous ballet, uh, was later turned into a musical, um, which I also helped with, On the Town. Um, after On the Town kind of kicked off, it was very successful. I did a lot more work in musical theater and kind of left ballet alone, but I incorporated a lot of musical theater, uh, ballet technique and ballet movements into musical theater. People say that I was the first to do that, actually. Um, but after an extensive Broadway career, I went back to um, New York City Ballet with my mentor, George Balanchine. George Balanchine is a phenomenal uh, ballet choreographer, and he 
did a lot of work with NYC and he helped establish and made it the NYC that people know and love today. Um, I, um, after he passed away though, I took over and created several, several more ballets and would spend the rest of my career there. Um, yes, I'm Jerome Robbins and this message is approved. <laughs> Melissa Hayden was a Canadian dancer of the New York City Ballet. In the early 1940s, she moved to America to join the ballet corps uh, at Radio City Music Hall. From 1945 to 1947, she danced at the American Ballet Theater and soon moved on to the New York City Ballet. From 1955 until her retirement in 1973, she was the prima ballerina of the New York City Ballet. I am Frederick Franklin, a British-born ballet dancer who was an early inspiration for the choreographer George Balanchine. Most of the time I was staged with the ballerina Alexandria. I also danced with other leading ballerinas of my era, including Alicia Markova, Maria Tallship, and Alicia Oliso. After, after ballet, Russia, Russia, the Monte Carlo briefly ended in the early 1950s because of financial problems. I began to start my own company. Okay, uh, the last girl on my list is Natalia Makarova, if I said that right. Born in, um, she's a Russian dancer. She was born November 21st, um, 1940. Uh, she, as I said, she's a Russian prima and a choreographer. She trained at the Imperial Ballet School and danced in ABT and the Royal Ballet, which is really cool because those were both created by Markova. So that's really neat. And Natalia is still living today, still teaching. So that's it. So this is my 20th century Kenshin Big. Hope you learned a ton about awesome ballet. See you later. Fast facts about Mikhail Baryshnikov. He was born in Riga, Latvia. He was one of the greatest ballet dancers of his century. He came to the U.S. in 1974 from the Soviet Union for more dance opportunities. He began studying ballet at age 16. He went to Vaganova. He made a stage debut with the Kirov Ballet and Giselle. He was part of ABT from 1974 to 1975, then later danced with the New York City Ballet under George Balanchine from 1978 to 1979. Then he returned to ABT in 1980 and was the company's artistic director in 1989. And he was also an actor, and he was in movies like The White Knight, That's Dancing, and Dancers. He was actually nominated for an Oscar on the turning point, for The Turning Point. He, he is currently married to Jessica Lange, one daughter, and he's currently the director of White Oak Dance Project.